We are back with Ross Benjamin to talk a little more over under today. Let me kick this one off here, Ross, with a game that I like to go under the total. Cubs and Indians at Cleveland. Tribe Salazar has gone seven strong and two straight and has pitched a great at home, sporting a whip under one, holding opponents to a batting average right around 200. Hamill's got a whip under one on the road as well, and the Indians are second worst in the league at scoring runs against right-handed pitching. Total seven and a half. I'm seeing this fall under. Well, I mean, again, I don't have an opinion on this game, but the Indians coming off a dismal performance yesterday in which they were shut out. So I would have a small lean going that way, and I tend to agree with you in that regard. All right, all right. Now we're moving on to uh, next one. Got Padres and Athletics. Total of eight tonight. Again, I like the under here. Graverman has been on point for Oakland, while Kennedy has struggled very much lately in this season overall. I think we saw his velocity pick up in that Dodgers game the other day. He got seven strong innings of one run ball. Well, Kennedy is 8-3 and three over the total this season with a very lofty 584 ERA, albeit, as Matt just alluded to, he's been much better of late. This is a San Diego team, 43-24-1 over the total this season. Putting that into perspective, Matt, this is a team that's cashed 64% of the time on the over in their first 68 games, and that's an enormously high rate considering the sample size. Graverman, as you alluded to, uh, pitching very well of late, but you know what? This is a guy who has a mammoth 10.53 ERA and 198 whip and only 13 and two-thirds innings pitched at home this season. I like this one to be a high-scoring affair. The first three games all went over the total between these teams, averaging 13 runs per game. I'm going to go over the total of 7.5, Matt. All right, all right. I see you there. I see you there. I don't, I don't super disagree with that. I do not trust Kennedy that much, but I did like what I saw out of him the other day against the Dodgers. Now let's uh, finish up here. we got Seattle Mariners and the Giants. Now, this is a tough one for me, but I'm leaning towards the under 7.5. I think Mike, Mike Montgomery is legit after three gate starts, and Safe Goes Park Factor always needs to be considered when we're talking totals. Vogel's song on the other side, he's struggling this month a little bit, but Seattle's hitting so poorly, I think he can keep it together tonight on the road. Yeah, I think he could get well against this Seattle team, who's arguably the worst hitting team in all of baseball right now. This is also a San Francisco team that's really struggled to score runs of late. They've scored two runs or less in five of their last six games. They've gone under the total in five of those six, and they're hitting a pathetic 185 as a team over their last seven contests. Uh, you mentioned Vogelsong. You would think that you know his unimpressive performance line would be able to turn around tonight in a pitcher-friendly ballpark at Safeco. And then speaking of Seattle, this team just can't hit their way out of a paper bag right now, Matt. They've scored three runs or less in 18 of their last 21, two runs or less in 10 of their last 14. They've gone under the total in their last six at home, 21 and 11 and two under the total at Safeco this season. And Mike Montgomery, as you touched upon, a 189 ERA in its first three starts this season. I look for this one to be a low-scoring affair. I'm going to take the under 7.5 in this contest. All right, Ross, thanks for those picks. And, guys, good luck with those plays tonight. We will catch up with you tomorrow for more totals.